someone tells you about their freshman year, it usually goes something like a lot of partying, a lot of new friends, and probably a lot of struggling. Fall semester was some of the funnest months that I've had. A newfound freedom and an escape from home left me feeling so free and independent. I could do anything I wanted without having to worry about my parents nagging me and the frequent phone calls telling me to come home soon. I stayed out late and ate out whenever I wanted. It was such an innocent time in my life. It was a time before I knew what college was really about. A time before joining a cultural org and meeting essentially an entire class worth of people that would soon become the people that I would spend all my time with. I would go over to my high school friends' dorms to just chill and talk about the first few days of class. Jenny and I would sit in our dorm and make matcha, which only lasted for two days, but those were moments that really captured the days of innocence. You learn so much about yourself, about others, your friends, old and new, and from the experiences that you're going to have. Everyone's college experiences are different. I learned a lot dealing with conflicts and running into personal issues that I've never had before. I cried a lot, laughed a lot, but most importantly, I learned how important it was to communicate. I learned how to express myself openly. I remember my roommate telling me how she didn't see this side of me until we moved in together despite our years of friendship. I think in a way, college allowed me to fully be myself and not let my thoughts restrict me from that. Ruminating was my worst enemy and I was able to work through that this year. However, no one really talks about the struggles you face as a freshman adjusting to a new environment, especially in a big college. Whenever people saw my stories on Instagram, I always got replies along the lines of, wow, you look like you're having so much fun. The truth was, the times that I wasn't posting on Instagram was when I was studying a ton, working on assignments, and going through stages of burnout. The burnout was pretty apparent during the spring semester, as I struggled to even find the motivation to show up to classes and complete my assignments. I skipped so many meals and slept more than I ever had before. Somewhere along the way, I had lost myself in the motivation that I had kept with me from high school. Despite how much I was struggling with my internal issues, my friends were always there to bring a smile to my face. For that, I thank you guys for being there for me. I remember for my birthday, I got surprised with cake the night before and the day of, and it made me feel really loved by all my friends that I had met during the year and had kept with me from high school. I'm thankful that I was able to reconnect with old friends as we got to bond over high school events, but I'm also thankful for the new friends that I'll be able to continue making memories with in my next few years of college. I also want to thank the new friends that I've met on task. My freshman year would not have been this fun without you guys. I was able to experience so much in just a year. As the weather got warmer and spring approached, I wasn't hit with just allergies. Although, it really sucked, I could barely breathe. I felt the warmth and the energy that I had been missing. I was feeling happy again. That may or may not be seasonal depression. <laughs> However, the happiness didn't last long as finals week approached once again and I felt the stress creeping in. Regardless, I pushed through and finished my last finals of my freshman year. And with that, it was time to pack things up. No one tells you about how bittersweet it feels to go through your freshman year of college. There's so many ups and downs that will occur, but regardless of all of that, you also know that you'll miss it because it's the last chance you really get to act like a kid. Sophomore year is when you're approaching the prime age of 20, and you're no longer considered the team that you were at 19. Despite this, I know I'm excited to see where my second year of college will take me with my newfound experiences and lessons that I will be taking with me from my first year. Oh yeah, I also dyed my hair red literally the day before we moved out. 